thriller Masquerade. But the actor's biggest headlines yet, at least as far as the tabloids are concerned, were made last year when news broke of the now famous sex scandal in which Lowe picked up two girls while in Atlanta attending the Democratic National Convention in the summer of 1988 and videotaped them having sex with each other. One of those girls turned out to be 16 years old and her mother filed a civil suit against Lowe. A Georgia DA began investigating the possibility of criminal charges well, even more embarrassingly, additional tape of Lowe having sex with a model in a Paris hotel room, footage shot before the Atlanta incident, began turning up in video stores. In the end, though, no charges were ever filed against Lowe, although he voluntarily did uh, 20 hours of community service in his hometown of Dayton, Ohio. And now, having weathered that career-threatening storm, Lowe is back in the public eye with what may be the best role of his career, a new movie that bears ironic parallels with his famed sexual escapades. Kurt Loder got the story. I think a lot of people probably tape sex at home on video. I, I have no doubt about it. But you got caught doing it, of course. I mean, did you did you feel if that happened to me, I'm sure I'd want to crawl into a hole and die. I mean, just like affect your life in a really severe way. I have a hole in my house. <laughs> if you'd like to ever use it, I dug it this summer. It's quite comfortable. Um, <laughs> the year. I mean, but you know what? It's like I have nobody to blame but myself. You know, I really don't, and and uh, you got to accept responsibility for what you do. Last spring, just as he was preparing to begin work on his 12th movie, a film called Bad Influence, Rob Lowe suddenly found himself playing the lead in a classically lurid sex scandal. New York porn publisher Al Goldstein had acquired a copy of Lowe's amateur sex tape and put part of it out as a home video, a move that infuriated Lowe and had him briefly contemplating legal action. There are a lot of sick elements to what went on. That, I think, may be the one that takes the cake. You know what? It's so over in my head anyway. And it's so really kind of yesterday's news that it's kind of like, what are you going to do? There are jerks all over the world. Now, at last, comes the movie that Lowe made in the midst of the great sex scandal, Bad Influence, a film about sex, lies, and videotape, coincidentally enough, in which Lowe appears with the star of last year's movie of that same name, James Spader. I think it's important in the sense that it, it really raises the issues that, that are, you know, movies don't talk about. I mean, about what is morality and who's to judge what is moral and what isn't. In Bad Influence, Lowe gives his most chilling performance as Alex, a closet psychotic who casually befriends Spader's straight arrow stock analyst and proceeds to remold his personality. Patterson. What kind of man are you that you drink to your enemies? The mysterious Alex quickly turns out to be not only a bad influence, but a killer as well. I mean, I didn't hit him, did I? He didn't just hit him. Jesus Christ, this guy's a colleague of mine. Oh, don't worry about him. He won't say anything. He knows you'd kill him if he did. <laughs> Wait a second. Kill him? Yes. And if you didn't kill him? I would. I told him that this morning. I went to give the donuts. Lowe feels that Bad Influence is one of the best movies he's ever made. He's still only 25 years old, but with a youthful sex scandal behind him and good reviews already rolling in on this latest film, he's determined to seek out similarly challenging material in the future, no matter how hard it may be to find. It just isn't the material. You know, I'd like to go to work again, but if not, I'll find something else to do, you know. Play a lot of one-on-one -on -one basketball you know, or something. Well, chances are Rob will not have to worry about giving up acting for shooting hoops given the rave notices he's already been getting for his work in Bad Influence. Meanwhile, the soundtrack album to Bad Influence will be in stores next week, featuring alternative rock by Lloyd Cole and Skinny Puppy, ethnic dance music by Zimbabwe's Thomas Mapfumo, Brazil's Nana, Nana Vasconcelos and Algeria's Chab Fadela, plus reggae from Toots Hibbert and some soul from Etta James. That is the news for now. We'll be back in a half hour with some good news and some bad news, Tom Petty. Right now, it's back to the Zappas. Thanks, Thank Kurt. Thank you, Kurt. Ah, <laughs> I love it's this man. It's very nice of him to...